Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I am the Global Cherry, and today we will be continuing Mafia Definitive Edition. To be safe from the Mafia, subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. So are we eliminating him? Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Oh. Voted for Bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. So we gotta, you know, uh, yeah. eliminate him out of existence. And putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. And where's so the steal evidence? Safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. So we have to steal all the evidence. Got it. Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don't salier. Oh, Salvatore speaks Good Italian. You. you know the job. Don't let me down. Si, ho capisco. Tommy. If you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. So, don't kill him? Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Does Tommy know how to speak Italian? Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meravigliosi? I guess not. Per <laughs> favore. I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Italian. Um, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto. I literally said I don't speak Italian. That doesn't mean you have to speak more. Oh, amazing. Oh, so like a labyrinth. I take out the cards. There's someone in the main. Oh. That's all of them. Okay, that scared me. Look for a dipinto. A lock? What? Um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio, uh, I can be. Oh, a painting. painting. There's the safe. Uh, Bravo. Uh, uh, scusa. Sure. Just let me do my Show job. Me what you can do. Oh, someone arrived. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. I will pacenza you if you don't unlock the safe. Nice work, excuse me. Ah, cura! Ed è collegato all'allarme! What? Oh crap, we just triggered the alarm. Oh, I see them. Oh, this guy's a Tommy gun. Yep, I took out your guy. We have to escape the mansion. Take the car. Finally, I get you first time. Finally, we understand each other. Time to get out of here, my friend. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. He Police? does understand you. Police, yes. Great ideal, 1933. What's gonna go on here? Okay, so we're back at the warehouse. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. The I Canadian know. beer? Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. 
Oh yeah, we were paying you, off boys. a prosecutor, right? Us. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? <laughs> you did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay. Oh, win-win for both sides. A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? What's going on some there? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tip? Hell no. But I walked him out. So he got paid a lot of money by a certain group. To sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick. Up from Kentucky. Moon Paulie looks like he's uh -huh. having fun. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Who's the exclusive Morello. buyer? Oh, Morello. He wants to burn bridges. Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight. But he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. So we're starting a heist, yeah? I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. I'm down for a heist. Think, it sounds so Canadian. dope. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah. Good to you see too, you, Gates. pal. Well. I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. Gate seems really to have a Texas accent, Tommy. I think. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. How? Why do I feel like this transaction is going to go wrong? Polly, what did you do? It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. All the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, we got ambushed. Did Morello finally come after the missing dough? We gotta hurry up. You need to be faster than that, fellas. Whoa, look at that explosion! Who helped us out? <laughs> Surprise! Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Looks like we're going through there too. We're going to crash. I don't even know what's happening. We're back, Don. It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. We could handle anything. Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Because well, he already let's see hates if this them already. Was worth all the trouble. Let me give a sip, you know? Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Salud. 
Intermezzo 1938. So I guess this is the future time with Sounds Tommy like and the Stalieri detective. Was getting ready to make his move. Waking up to maybe. But then prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. No that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35. Things oh, so were things up. were looking up for we them. Had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah. That he was, was content it. with himself. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe to be the ultimate cops, mob boss. Politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. Oh, that's cruel. That was the missing piece. Wait, what's the what missing piece? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. He hit us with both barrels, not one. Bon appétit. I wonder what mission oh, this his is. Face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're What's here. going on, boss? There you go, boss. You want a Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. We're taking the Don to lunch? You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Maybe they're secretly plotting. Oh, ho, ho. Don't so yet. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> so he's friends you, with the restaurant hey, owner. Come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponata. Excellent. Ooh, oh, caponata. Oh, Benny. Oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. I'm starving. Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. You told Sarah to do that? Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> oh, I mean, that makes sense. Don't you. drink. <laughs> The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good. These people look suspicious. Get down! Don! We made a reservation. Oh, man, we were having some lunch. You should have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Should we 
give these punks a good whooping? Grenade. It's a grenade. Okay, they just ruined a good restaurant. We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. Sure. Got it. Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, bye. That's you right. Tom, just be quick about it. Okay, so looks like the dawn isn't safe. You're not going home tonight, fella. I got the guy on the roof. I kept you here. You should not be alive after that many bullets. You want to meet my friend, the shotgun? Woo! Okay, I got a headshot. Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. We saved the boss's ass from the guy breath. who wants to make a reservation. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom. You Carlo betrayed us? Dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Jeez, the guy's running in his boxers. Where are you going, Carlos? Come back! Come back here, Carlo! Come back here, Carlos! You can't run away from me! Get back here, Carlos! Think about this Please. Uh, no, I'm done thinking. Let me talk to the boss. I can explain everything. There's nothing to explain. You dug your own grave, pal. <laughs> Get back here. Is he still alive? I sure. think he kind of is. Ooh. Oh, okay. Don, I think he's dead. Now we're sure. You feeling better, boss? Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this guy? Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. Oh, is that Gates? It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, oh, well, poor Gates. He did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. Salieri is alive. Looks like he's not happy. God damn it! All mob bosses have anger issues. What happened? Maybe visit a therapist. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? 
Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. So the only must have figured color was the rest. God damn it. I even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! Oh! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. So it looks like a gang war is going to, to happen. Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. Keep your head down, you little too. brother. Down, Morello. Guys. So the Don is already Good. planning the attack. We're finally going after her. Soon. But first we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We have to make Morello's right boys it, betray him? The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in They're line going for the to pine realize that. This asshole, Galati. Galati. Counselor still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Ooh, so stops, boots, we're going to roads, crash a birthday works. party. I'm in. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So what? So what are we going to do? Throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him for fuck's sake. <laughs> Get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And he Ooh, smart plan. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. So just look like a normal person at a birthday party. His speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there. And I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. I got it, Uncle Vince. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Buona fortuna. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. Ooh. We'll find him. We have ourselves a disguise, Sam. Looks like Sam took care of this cabin boy. There's nothing suspicious about me. I'm just an innocent cabin boy, sir. Yeah, I'm the new cabin boy. You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You guys you are going no to be my guardian angel. angels, right? He's got us looking out for him. You guys got my backs. Don't I know you from someplace? Oh, uh, no? Don't think so. You don't know me. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Yeah, there's nothing familiar about me at all. Oh, you took your time. Hey there, janitor. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Mid deck. Next floor up. Right above us. The keys on the table there. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. What no. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Oh no! Is our cover gone? Okay. We're in the bathroom. 
We just have to pretend we ate a lot for the buffet and just Come grab on. the gun. Oh, that's disgusting. Where the fuck are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me. Happy birthday, counselor. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. He's dead. Time to run. I can't see anything in this vlog. One man down. It doesn't feel good, don't it? Need to so oh, oh. the weasel I feel like they're not going to make this easy for us yep got him showdown boys happy birthday to the counselor Oh, the speedboat is coming! See ya! Woo! We finally escaped the ship! My guardian angels! We could be peeling you off the front of the train. That's true, it could he be much worse. Break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, he's clever. You off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this? Guy? How are we going Besides to do he's that? Got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Or a turkey's Sergio foot. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him. And a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he oh. the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, Are we going to make Sergio's oh. car go... <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morell has killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll make sure the yeah, money boss. comes back to us, boss. You didn't see anything. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, he's calling Sarah. Oh, no, don't get in the car. Hey, stop! Oh! The wrong person was supposed to be no, in that car. No, no, no. Oh, God. Tommy, it's the wrong car. Tommy, what's going on? Okay, so we bombed the wrong car. Vinny. Uh, it all went bad. Hey, pull it together, Tom. Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. We killed an innocent person. What are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. Oh, look at Tommy. We found Sergio. Tom. You okay? Yeah. No. It's the car bomb. 
Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? Table for we got three. A from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Oh, Tommy was making sure he doesn't shoot the girl. Enjoying your meal? Mom, we gotta get Sergi out! I got it! We're gonna throw some land! Oh, oh shit! I didn't see this guy. Now we have to chase after Sergio. Get me out of here! Sergio's getting away. He has the worst. Go get him, Tommy! Yeah! Encouragement. Gets himself killed. Whoa, there's a crowd of people. Uh, excuse me, people. Oh, did I run over someone? We got him. It's doing. Kill that this is some stunt skills. Perfect. No. Hey, I found them. Hit him from the side. No place to hide. Okay, let's go. Oh, loud and proud. That's how we're going to go. Gonna burn. I knew that Molotov was going to come after me. Up for shot. No! Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Oh, that was a bit nerve-wracking. This is an open area. I don't feel safe. Oh. Oh. I don't have ammo, except for a shotgun. <laughs> I got the sniper just in time. Here goes nothing. What is that going to do? Find a way into the depot. Home depot? Ooh! I'm thinking of a new fashion apparel. I'm thinking of, you know, wearing Sergio. Oh! 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 Ah! You just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy? gonna kill me Tommy's going to be the first one your luck runs out pal <laughs> oh he ran out of bullets what did I tell you no one can touch me use your foot You ain't that lucky, bastard. Oh, he's no. going to set the whole thing. <laughs> wow, looks like that guy wasn't lucky after all. What year is this, creme de la creme? It was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys so it was a gang war that has been going on in Chicago. Boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello hosts charity Morello gala. Wants to thumb his nose at us. 
taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas. In a crowd so the party full of schmancy fancies? The theater is going to be packed. And not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public. In front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. If you cross okay, the boys, boss. something will happen. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. What Shut if up. he was wearing a red suit? It'll be even more covered. How are we going to get him? Oh. Chasing Dawn. But if that'll hang us out to dry. Okay. Close. Shoot for the cars protecting him. Let's get him out of the picture. You got it. We have to get, get the Dawn out of the picture. Us. Looks like he's trying to get out of the city. Come on, fellas. We're taking this city over. Yeah. Jeez, oh, these guys don't give up. I know. We're taking this all the way. We're going to take this all the way. Muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, it's like the moments they go through yeah. as friends. Not that it's even calm, can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on. As if running towards us will do anything. He ain't getting back up. Oh, he's going for the hangar. Sam, you too? You have to shout when you reload. Oh. Whoa. Looks like he also has a Tommy gun. No. Get us into the air. We don't have the speed. It's going to be the end of Don Morello. Okay, now the other. Yes. Cuz I'm the guy that drives. And now we got That's the only the reason I'm the guy that drives. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in all guns blazing and we finish them off. Oh yeah. Birds staying in the sky. Great plane. Oh, we made it just in time. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's messed up. Bastard's daddy doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> they had to shoot no. that many bullets? Yeah, pal. I don't do it. Looks like Morello is gone. Come on. Let's make tracks. The Don doesn't seem that happy that his companion is dead. Oh, maybe they were close friends? See you on the other side, Marku. Oh, that's so sad. He's doing cheers to himself. Intermezzo, 1938. What's going to happen now? You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. That's what you wanted Maybe to talk about, out. Detective? Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. 
So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri? The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever. Oh, it's yours. the account books that Frank gave Tommy. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone. Two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Oh, that was the photo the Don was looking at. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. <laughs> so what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> I was just a cab driver. But you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Right, a friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about it. It was something. the end of an extreme war. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. Oh. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. So he's also getting the bullseye. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam can point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? That's sweet how he thinks of Polly and Sam as but his brothers. Night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Oh. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. So this is a matter of betrayal. Election campaign, 1938. Oh, we're already at that point. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. Yeah. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. Start shouting for help. The guy is drowning? Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. 
but don't you ever pay his tab again. So he's saying okay, don't bye. help his friends. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. What's with the Turnbull? Guy running for governor. The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. So we have to crash an election campaign. Can you have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. So we're Don't going to be assassinating the governor. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Vincenzo, you got any for me? Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. Oh. So, a pie in the old prison? So yeah. we have to go to a prison. The family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Yeah, right between the eyes. The crevice between the eyes. Okay, go. This is gonna be a prison fight. I can't use a gun because I might alert people. Time to ruin an election. No one's voting for you. He's dead. Now I have to escape from prison. Oh no. Get in here! Oh! Was that supposed to happen? How long have I been out? Maybe for... a few hours? Oh no! Okay, this is bad. Oh! Okay, I fell. God, the boys in blue are so annoying. Give up, please. I will. Why is my aim so bad? Nice try. Oh. Oh, no. Whoa. When did you appear? They're coming this way. More? Lose the cops! Lose the cops! 
You'll never take me alive! Oh! We're finally out of prison! I'm not going back! No matter what it takes! Oh, look at the amount of cops! Oh! I know I did something wrong, but why did you send so many cops after me? I'm just a cab driver. Too bad. Oh, we came back home to the wife. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Yes. I was responsible for the assassination. Well, as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Well, the newspaper sure again. twist things. Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. <laughs> Tommy yeah, feels work. so bad now. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. It's not too late for that. <sighs> Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. We're going you to steal to some Cameroons. Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. Smuggled diamonds the are in the boxes with the cigars? We're stealing diamonds from the feds. Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure. I got it. Great. Whoa, we're stealing diamonds this time. Good stuff while I'm I stole the customs truck. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in a cap. You can ride in the back. <laughs> Sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. I know when to keep my head down? Hey, Wait, what's that mm for? <laughs> come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. Oh, come on. All the right, jokes, right. Polly. Right. No. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? This feels like deja vu. Bomb? Sam, what okay, do I do? Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate to tie the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here. So search their files. You're All right. For Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemian. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. So the 23rd, yeah. okay. Cameroon cigars on the Bohemia. You find us when you're done. Okay. I think we got company. <laughs> I got it. I guess I have to use my fist this time. Meet lefty and righty. You startled me. All right, guys, you have the rest of the day off. Feel free to exit the warehouse. Shh, don't raise the alarm. 
We're gonna have to do a lot of searching. Found them. You did? Return to Sam and Polly. Finally, there we found is. the crates. <laughs> you sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. Before the cops come. Polly's just like, I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. We're rich, boys. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? The alarm? Okay, Get out. Um, got it. Let's go, let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? The place was a maze. Yeah, you didn't tell me how big the place was. We pull something like this. We need a better plan. More information. A better plan? Well done, Sherlock. What's going on with Polly? How bad is it? It's the worst of it. It don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. It's not diamonds. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You could the Don lied to box. us. You're not going to find them. So he intentionally told them it was diamonds they so they would steal the crates. Out on the line for this shit. Looks like they put their necks out for cool dope. Off, the Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He come okay, home. don't tell sure. him about it. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, because yeah, they could die if they yeah. blabbered. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right? Oh, doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides. Ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Oh, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. Okay, the Don is I'm acting dangle. very sus. Sam, give me a look back to And the this power. isn't even among sure, us. Boss. Guys coming? Now nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, Polly saw through them. God damn it. I just about had it, Tommy. If we got busted with all that smack, we would have died in prison. Yeah, that's but what true. Are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. No, Tommy's going to join. <laughs> Did I just hit Polly? You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Oh, Christ. Polly felt hurt by that. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls. 
and I start to get lazy. He wants to live a and life of his, up, of his own. Off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at. For the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little mouse goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? <laughs> sure. Hey, that sounds this, cool. I'll go to that wait pizzeria. Until calm down. Ah. Uh, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Especially if you want another part of Mafia Definitive Edition. Thank you for watching, and that's all.